YouTube, what's up, it is Jack and Tosh7, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove thermal paste from a CPU and a CPU fan. Now, this is a very simple process, but if you do it wrong, you really could screw up your CPU, um, and that is one of the most expensive parts um, in a computer, so um, just follow this procedure on this tutorial very carefully and you should not have any problems so it is fairly easy like I said just pay attention um, you're going to need two things besides a motherboard and a CPU you're going to need uh, rubbing alcohol or um, what was this called uh, isopropyl alcohol um, one thing that you're going to want to look out for is the percentage um, you should use 90% but if you can't get 90% 70 will work 75 will work um, it, it basically just means it's 70% alcohol, pure alcohol, the rest of it, so the 30% is, um, is water. So, what the only advantage is of having 90% alcohol instead of, um, 70 is it's going to t dry a little faster, but that's really no big deal. Um, so I wouldn't t go anything below 50. I don't even think they make anything like that, but um, just wanted to point that out. Mm -hmm. I also forgot to mention that you need a microfiber cloth. Um, any microfiber cloth will do, as long as a as long as it's as long as it's a microfiber cloth. Um, they're really all the same, so yeah, you need this to put the alcohol on and rub off. I just forgot to uh, say that, so I'm adding it in now. So uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove it from a uh, stock Intel cooler and a very, 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 very old um, CPU. So this is the CPU fan, and as you can see, they used a little amount of thermal paste back then. I'll take the CPU out right now. It is an AMD chip. Um, don't worry, it is broken, um, like the whole thing fried. So I'm going. I can really mess around with this. Um, but as you can see, this was the only part where they put the alcohol on. I mean the um, thermal paste on. So. <sighs> Sorry, my phone's going off. Um, so I'm just going to be showing you how to remove it. And uh, yeah, it's really simple. It's really the same for all Intel and AMD. So you really do not have to worry. Um, so yeah, let me just make sure I put that back in. Um, you do not have to take your CPU out for this. If you do, um, I don't really think it is a problem. But I would recommend um, this motherboard and CPU is garbage. There's, you can't even see the notch where it lines up. Um, so yeah, you don't like I said, you don't have to take it out. Um, but if you do, you probably can mess it up. So I would not take it out. You can leave it in. But the first step in this process is removing the CPU fan. To remove the uh, Intel fan, um, the stock Intel fan, it's very simple. All you do is turn um, the little legs whatever you want to call them, and then pull out. Um, so unlock the leg like that, and then pull out. Do opposites uh, corners, like go like this, and then do this side, and then that side, and then this one. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First, um, I'm going to be taking it off of the stock Intel cooler, then we'll go on to the CPU, because uh, I have to try to put that back in there. Um, so yeah, first things first, you're going to want to um, take a microfiber cloth, and you're going to, it has to be a microfiber cloth because otherwise you'll have particles left behind on the CPU and that's not good. Um, so take the microfiber cloth and take the alcohol, go like this, two times, should be enough, and then just basically grip it like that and very simply just wipe the area where the thermal compound is on. All right, so do it in a circular motion or you can just go up and down doesn't really matter um, and this thermal compound will come off so yeah it shouldn't take too long um, you don't need to put that much alcohol on the cloth as you can see I use two little uh, whatever you want to call that and uh, yeah, there you go. 
Um, so I would clean up around here a little bit because as you can see that collected either dust from it being outside of my case because I upgraded my cooler. Um, but uh, yeah, so now what you're going to want to do is take the other end of the microfiber cloth and um, just go like this and wait a little while. I would say 5 to 10 minutes and wait for it to dry. Um, I would do 10 minutes just to be on the safe side if you're using 70%, 5 minutes if you're using 90%. Um, so now we're going to remove it from the um, CPU. It's really the same. I'm just going to show you guys anyway um, for those of you who want to see it. Um, so yeah, it's very simple. Just put the alcohol on the microfiber cloth and just go in circles or up and down. Circles are probably better, but since this is a small, they're both small services, but it was getting caught in the um, heat sink. Um, I went up and down, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it on the CPU. It's really small where it is the thermal paste is so uh, just bear with me here you know it's it's the same if you're doing it on a um, CPU or a heat sink it's it's the same you're basically just rubbing alcohol on it so yeah alrighty so I mounted the um, well, fixed the positioning of the um, motherboard so you guys get a better angle um, now use the other end of your microfiber cloth or just find a empty place of on it that isn't doesn't have alcohol or doesn't have residue I'm turning my phone off because he's annoying um, all right so then what you're gonna want to do is basically do the same process you did for the heat sink and just take the alcohol like this and um, put it on the end of the microfiber cloth or just a spot on the microfiber cloth and just do two of those and make bunch it up like this and now just as you can see for newer um, CPUs the whole CPU will be covered with thermal paste but since this is an older one the it was only plated um, on one section because this is older technology so what you're going to want to do is just take it and just do it the same way that we did it with the heat sink in circles or up and down I think in circles is better but it's going to be pretty interesting doing it on this because it is smaller but uh, yeah all you have to do like I said is just take the cloth and just rub it on the plate and with the newer, older ones, it's probably not the best to clean these because you can easily get alcohol on the outside. But since this is broken, I really don't care. And a lot of people are not going to be using these CPUs. So if you have an older CPU, I would really, I don't know what you would do because I just got alcohol on the CPU itself. Um, this part right here, not the plate. So... But it doesn't. It doesn't matter if it's a newer CPU because the newer CPUs are all covered with the plating. Um, so with the older ones, I really this probably isn't the way that you're supposed to do it because if you bunch it up, then yeah, they're bunched up really small to get in that space. So um, it's probably just bunch it up if you have a really if you have an old one, but um, then take the other end of your microfiber cloth or just find a dry section and then just go like that. I'm not sure. Alcohol will probably kill this, uh, but it is already broken. But, you know, so, yeah, that's really it for this video, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, um, please ask me before doing this. Um, or just ask me whenever. I'm not responsible if you damage your CPU or your heatsink or your motherboard or any internal components while doing this. Um, but yeah, it's really a very simple process unless you have an older CPU, then you really have to bunch up the cloth. And yeah, so if you have an older CPU, I would do a little more research. Um, but I know a lot of people are really not going to be using CPUs from 1998. So... I believe this is from 1998, maybe 2000, 2001 or so. Yeah, so it is an older CPU, as you can see. It only has two. Uh, it only has two um, RAM slots, so it is an older motherboard. 
Um, but some newer ones actually do have two, like the Micro ATX and all that, and the Mini ATX, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, just thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll get back to you. I always do. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.